they're not doing it. And so the president seems determined to find another way. Certain things he can do that on. Is this one of them? Uh, well, I, the question is, can he get away with it? Can he do it legitimately? And That's my question. No, he can't. I mean, he's already done all kinds of things he can't legitimately do. And the second stage, you know, you were talking about there's like a two-step thing. The next step that the advocacy groups are pushing him to do is basically to actually legalize all the illegal aliens by giving them work cards, social security numbers, all the rest, mm -hmm. supposedly just for, you know, a couple years at a time, temporary, but it would be a real amnesty. And that is the big thing on the horizon that would, I think, would be an impeachable uh, action, quite frankly, wow. and I think the White House fears it. That's why they haven't done it we yet. We had John Boehner on this program not long ago saying if the president does this by executive action, it's only going to hurt the, the deal in Congress because the Republicans aren't going to trust him to abide by the deal they strike. Mark, thank you for being here. Thank you. For more, we're joined by Dennis Michael Lynch. Dennis, your thoughts on this now, talking about how those who have, who have broken the law, who come into the country illegally, they'll get deported. A, a, George, a judge will say, you are now deported, sir. They have to leave. Then they sneak back into the country again, and basically the administration is going to tell them that that entire process was meaningless, and they can stay and ignore everything the judge said. Yeah, there's a few things here that we have to discuss. First of all, over the last two weeks, we've heard Harry Reid and all the Democrats talk about how important this country uh, operates based on how, how important it is for the rule of law. And the judge's orders in oh, these cases. You, you've got to follow the rule of law. Well, this is breaking the law at every end. We're letting illegal immigrants just run around the country disregarding our borders. There's no rule of law. This is completely chaotic. So a couple things we have to point out. The beloved Ronald Reagan says amnesty was the worst mistake he's ever made. He thought he was going to be giving amnesty to one million people. It turned out to be four million people. So the government keeps on talking about these 11 million people running around. Mm -hmm. If history repeats itself, and we know it does, we're looking at 40. You brought props. I bring props all the time. 44 million people. Where do you get that number from? If you take the same thing, you've got 11 million people. They've been claiming 11 million, Megan, for two, three years. And yet everybody from ICE and everybody from Border Patrol tells you that more people are coming over than ever before. Because they expect amnesty? Of course, they, every they time, every time, I'll tell you right now, I guarantee you in the next two days, I'll get the emails from the Border Patrol guy saying, oh, it's up at 70 percent, because he's talking about that he's not going to do deportations. And what I'm saying is Reagan thought he was giving amnesty to a million people. It turned out to be four. The government can't find numbers. So what about, because the administration has claimed repeatedly that his deportations, Barack Obama's uh, deportations, have reached record levels, that he's deporting more illegal immigrants than George W. Bush did or his predecessor. No, complete BS. First of all, here's how he... He redefined, in his Obama little way, what a deportation is. If, if Joe comes over from Mexico and he said, hey, you got to go back, that's a deportation. And when Joe comes back two weeks again, they count them twice, not and, once. And it was never that way with the other It's person. never that way before. This, this, this guy has redefined everything. And I've said to you this to you, uh, how many times have I said this to you on this show? If this happens, it redefines this country in a way that is irreversible. The American worker is going to get crushed. Well, but when you look at this, Dennis, and, and you, th what they're talking about now, protecting immigrants serving in the U.S. military from deportation. I mean, uh, you, don't, you don't expect Megan, the American people to rise up over that, do you? No, you know what I expect the American people to rise up over? The fact that they are out of work. There is only one way to solve this problem. If I were President Lynch, I could solve it in a day. You turn off the work magnet, those people will go home. And if you enforce the rule of law, the hard work was already done <laughs> years and years ago. You enforce the rule of law, everything will start to go normal again. Mm -hmm. The impact that this has on schools, hospitals, crime, you work joblessness, the unemployment rate in this country would drop. Back in the Bush days, let me finish with this. Back Quick in the thing. Bush days, when he used to do raids and he would swipe out 100 people out of a place, the next day, the Americans would be around the block applying for those jobs. Understood. Dennis, we'll continue to follow it and we'll see what, uh, again, the White House has not yet confirmed.